Question number 10. Diagram 4 shows the curve y equals px cubed such that p is a constant. The tangent to the curve at point A intersects the y-axis at B. So the B coordinate given is 0, negative 4. So this is negative for the, the coordinate, lah, 0, negative 4. It means the y-intercept is negative 4. So question A, find the calculate the value of P. So the value of P, you see this is a tangent, right? This the point A is a tangent of this curve. Okay, the point where it the point of tangent. Okay. So what we can do is we know tangent is what? We can use dy dx, correct? The gradient of this curve, okay, this curve at this point should be the same as the gradient of the tangent. So we can actually just compare the gradient. So y equals px cubed. So dy dx will be what? dy dx equals 3px squared. Okay. So the gradient at this point, the point here x is equals to 1, right? So that means 3p1 square, which is 3p. Lah. Okay. So this gradient, so this 3p is the gradient at this point. Okay. It should be the same as the gradient of this tangent. So how do we find the gradient of tangent? We can use y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So x, which using these two points, because these two points are on the tangent, right? correct? So we can just use this formula. So p minus negative 4 over 1 minus 0. So that means p plus 4 over 1, I don't need to write over 1, equals to 3p. So 4 equals to 3p minus p is 2p. So p is equals to 4 divided by 2 is 2. So we found p value. Okay. So in other words, let me just clarify. The gradient of this curve at this point should be the same as the gradient of the tangent. Okay. So that's why I use two different formulas for to find tangent. One is using dy dx, the other one is using the normal formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay. So that's how we do this. Second question what they're asking for. Calculate the area of the shaded region. So the shaded region here, you got two parts. You got this triangle here, this one, triangle. And you have this one which we have to do using integration. Okay. So we'll find both of it. So before we can find, let's we start with the the triangle first. Okay. Because the triangle here we know base uh what formula is one over two times base times height, right? So base is let's say it's this line here, which we'll have to find. But the height we know is, what, 4, right? 4 units. Because from 0 to negative 4. So the height will be 4. Lah. Okay, 4 units. Okay, so now we have to find this one. So how do we find? So this line is basically the x, this point here is the x-intercept of the tangent, correct? So we have to find the tangent first, then substitute the, the one of the coordinates. Uh, sorry substitute y equals 0 because you're finding the x-intercept. X in, when you want to find x-intercept, y value equals 0. So you substitute y equals 0, you can find the x-intercept. So that will represent that point there. Okay. Now if you don't understand what I'm saying, we will do together. Okay. So we want to find y equals mx plus c to find this line here. Equation of tangent. So the gradient of that line is this. Lah. Okay. Or is this 3p. Because I just that's what we counted just now, right? So three p since two is uh, p is two, so three times two is six lah. So the gradient we know is six x. Okay, six x. And then uh, for those who don't know how I got six uh, because I already said just now, this gradient is the same as this gradient, correct? So since the gradient is three p, so we already found p is two, right? So three times two. 3 times 2 is 6. So that's why I use 6 here. Okay. So y equals to 6x. Now we want to find the c value. We just have to substitute one of the... Oh, no, we got the intercept here. Negative 4. So y equals to 6x minus 4. Okay. So we found this. Now we want to find the x-intercept. So x-intercept 
y value equals to 0. So this one, 0 equals 6x minus 4. So 4 equals to 6x, and then 4 over 6 equals to x. So x equals to 2 over 3. So this coordinate here is 2 over 3. So that means this height, this base is actually 2 over 3. Okay, I hope you all understand what I'm saying. Huh? So the, the, I redraw the triangle. This even the height is 4, and this is 2 over 3. Okay, because from 0 all the way to 2 over 3. So we can find the area of the triangle. So the area of triangle is 1 over 2. Area of triangle. 1 over 2 times the 4 times 2 over 3. Okay, so here I can cut. So I get 4 over 3. Okay, so this is the area unit square of the triangle. So now we want to find the area of the top part here. Okay, but in this case, I'm just going to calculate the whole thing. So the whole area, area of shaded region equals to what? So you have to integrate, integrate the curve, right? We are using the curve and we want to find this part first. So this one here is 1. So find the whole thing minus this triangle here. Okay, that is the area of the shaded on top. So from 0 to 1, and then you're going to integrate y equals to px cubed. So px cubed means 2x cubed. So 2x cubed dx, and then minus, don't forget to minus this triangle here. So this triangle is 1 over 2. The base is what? From 2 over 3 to 1, right? So 1 minus 2 over 3 times the height. The height is the p-value. So the p-value we got here is 2. Right? So the height here is 2 times 2. Okay. So this will give you the area of that shaded region on top. And then you don't forget you have to also plus the area that we found at the bottom here. Okay, the area at the bottom, which is 4 over 3, which is what we found just now. Okay, so we're going to do that. I hope you all understand. Huh? If you all don't understand, just let me know in the comment section and I'll try to explain. So in this case, uh, 2x cubed, oh, oh, sorry, 2x power 4, I'm going to integrate, right? Plus 1, so it becomes 4, divide by 4. Then substitute 1, 0, minus, so here I can cancel it. So 1 minus 2 over 3 is 1 over 3. And then don't forget to plus 4 over 3. Okay, so here I can simplify. Here becomes 1, here becomes 2. So 1 over 2x power 4. So when I substitute x equals to 1, so I get uh, 1 over 2x power 4, so it's just 1 over 2. Minus, when I substitute 0, I get 0. Then, minus this, minus 1 over 3, plus 4 over 3. Okay, so let me count this. 1 over 2, minus 1 over 3, plus 4 over 3. So the answer I got is 3 over 2. Or I can just write 1 over 1.5 unit. Lah. So the answer here, let me, I just write this side. Uh, 3 over 2 or I can write 1.5 unit square okay so that's the area of the shaded region clear all right third part the volume generated in terms of pi when the region bounded by the curve and straight line x minus uh, x equals to 1 is revolved through 90 oh it's only 90 degree about the x-axis okay so let me just erase this first okay erase this so that we don't get confused they are saying that we want to find the volume bounded by the curve so this curve here this curve and x equals 1 x equals 1 is because we got here 1 right x equals to 1 is here so we want the whole thing this whole thing and also the x-axis so the x-axis is here so that means it's basically this this part lah this, I don't even know how to draw this, like this. Okay, this part. And you're going to rotate this, revolve 90 degree. It's only 90 degree, eh? not 360. So that means it's only a quarter of the entire circle. Okay, a quarter of the entire circle. So that means we cannot find the whole volume. We just have to find 
we find the whole volume then we only take a quarter of it okay so we are going to do that so let's find the the formula is what volume equals to pi and then you integrate so this one we are integrating from 0 to 1 right because the x-axis there is only is from 0 to 1 okay in case you don't understand let me draw it out here so this part here is 0 from the graph and this part here is 1 so from 0 to 1 and we have to use we are de integrating on uh, based on the x-axis right so we have to use the px cube y equals to px cube so px cube is 2x cube but don't forget to square it 2x cube square okay that's the formula huh? you must square the the equation and then dx okay and then what else oh yeah we also want a quarter right so we have to times 1 over 4 okay so let's do that so 2x cubed square will give you 4x power 6 okay dx times 1 over 4 so pi and then integrate this 4x power 7 over 7 1 0 times 1 over 4 so substitute 1 and 0 the first value is 4 over 7 pi minus uh, when I substitute 0 I get 0 times 1 over 4 so I can cancel this so my answer is 1 over 7 pi Okay, 1 over 7 pi unit cube. If you want to write in decimal, it's also fine. Okay, wait, the question asks in terms of pi. So this is the answer. Sorry, cannot write in decimal. So this will be the answer.